There are suspected cyber attacks every single day in the United States. Some of them false, some of them real. And they're not always letting you know on the news. You will have to read to find these things. And sometimes it is hidden if you don't actually search for them. I just found this just now. I didn't even know this existed. But it says suspected Chinese hackers use two previously undiscovered software flaws. And they use those flaws to break into a U.S.-based research organization just last month as part of a persistent spying campaign aimed at collecting intelligence in China's interests. The hackers use the flaws, which are used by spy agencies because they aren't known to the software vendor to gain unfettered access to the unnamed victim organization, U.S. Cybersecurity from Velocity. We cannot keep track of all the cyber attacks. This out of the mouth of the FBI director, Christopher Ray. He says that China's hacking teams outnumber the FBI's cyber agents 50 to one. We cannot compete with what China is going to do. Yes, the US is on high alert. We're experiencing so much stuff over here. And then we have the elites the one who make the rules because now if you you have billions of dollars you now can tell people what the medical needs of Americans need to be what they need to get what they need to do because you have the power these politicians don't have the power they're fighting for it but they don't have it unless they have billions of dollars and I'm just keeping it real Mark Zuckerberg okay Mr. Facebook Mr. AI He's building a 5,000 square foot compound in Hawaii. People in Hawaii are, are calling him a, a neo-colonizer. Is he? I don't know. He's building this because he knows something. He sees something about to happen. Just like we can know and see stuff that's happening, but we ain't got no money. We ain't got that kind of money to do nothing about it. We can just get on here and tell you, well, you know, I'm stocking up. I'm, I'm you know, I got generators. I, I got this and I got that. Push come to shove. Do we have enough to actually survive? Do we have the mindset? Because the mentality is a big part of surviving. Oh, yes, live your life. Do what you want to do. But we need to know something is coming and we need to be preparing for it. Are these elites? secret preppers are they seeing stuff that we don't get to see like access to things that we don't get access to because of the billions in front of their name cattle catapults and an underground bunker is mark zuckerberg a doomsday prepper y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think as i get into and dig deeper into this article mark zuckerberg shared an instagram video of himself standing beside a large catapult he also said his he's raising cattle to create high quality beef. That the billionaire is building five thousand square foot of an underground bunker. Mark Zuckerberg is giving off survivalist vibes with his recent outdoor activities. But Mark is not the only billionaire that is paying attention to what is happening and doing something about it. Reddit CEO Steve Huffman is also prepared for chaos. He purchased guns, ammo, and motorcycles after watching the disaster movie Deep Impact. Do you know how old that movie is? So did he just watch that movie or has he been doing this since that movie been out? And also once told the founders of Shipmate Startup that I prep for survival. Okay, I prep for survival in case of a lethal synthetic virus, AI attacking humans, or nuclear war. So it's people out here with real money doing real stuff. Okay, this makes Leave the World Behind, the movie that is produced by Barack and Michelle Obama, the people who had access to all of this secret information about things that's going on. And then they put this freaky movie out that had the internet on fire. So it says, to be clear, there's absolutely nothing unusual about the uber rich and techie crowd getting into hoarding remote properties, food stockades, and weapons, 
weapons caches for the end of the world. Just ask OpenAI Embattled CEO, who once reportedly bragged years ago to people at a party that he preps for survival for such catastrophes as lab-made virus leaks and AI that attacks us. Cybersecurity breach, right? Because that's what that movie was based off of. The one thing people are not paying attention to is what is happening with what's going on in the state of the world. Everybody want to focus on the salacious stuff. They miss the nugget. The nugget is why do you think Mark Zuckerberg has this 5,000 square foot bunker being built on his 1,500 acres? This was the response that Cat Williams gave. A $270 million bunker. What do you know that we don't know, Cat? Kim Jong Un? <laughs> what? I don't know what you don't know. Do you understand that people that are not very bright are in charge of nuclear bombs all across the country? Mm -hmm. That's what he knows. He knows that 30% of all weapons systems are running off regular Wi-Fi. So what does that mean? That means if a solar flare or a meteor hits either one of those, literally a bomb can go off just because the system accidentally got turned off. Yeah, that's what he knows. The, the people that are in power know that the people that are running the most complicated and deadliest things on the planet are just an average idiot. And you know lots of idiots. I do. Yep. And these, these people are not special. Back in the day they were. Yeah. Not today. Not today. How ready are you if there was a huge cyber attack? If we were dealing with the situation that took place, like took place in that particular movie, Leave the World Behind? What if we didn't have access to power? We didn't have access to water. We didn't have access to enough food to make it through. What would we do? How ready are you for it? Sadly, a lot of us is not ready for it. A lot of us won't survive it. I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights. Yeah. Sort out of the lies, oh baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose, yeah. baby, going down. I've been giving you the worst. Now you wanna stay tonight.